My only advice is to never put in a second-rate piece of work. What would you give for the chance to talk about your research with a Nobel laureate in person? There was one student who came to me and he said, you know, from what you said, this and this and this should follow. And I was pretty amazed because I just said a little bit about that and it had taken me years to come to that realization and he had just done it by listening to my talk. Could you imagine getting answers that no textbook could ever provide? You should choose a field of work that is not work, that you enjoy so much that when you go let's say to the laboratory, you go to play. What if you could get all that and share the experience with hundreds of young scientists from all over the world and in one of Europe's most beautiful locations? I think one of the best parts of the Lindau meeting is that you can see laureates everywhere on the island. I'm Marquita Landry. I made a video diary about my experience at the meeting of the Nobel laureates in Lindau. I connected with lots of young researchers from around the world. Argentina, Pakistan, Japan, France, you name it. All of us sharing our passion for science and research, and all of us meeting and learning from the laureates. On September 15, 2010, the nomination and selection process begins for the 2011 Meeting of Nobel Laureates in Lindau, Germany. It is dedicated to laureates in physiology or medicine. 550 young researchers and about 20 Nobel laureates are expected to attend. And if you meet the criteria, you can too. You'll hear outstanding lectures from laureates. Well, I would like to uh, tell you, as he says, the entire history of the universe from the beginning to the end. I have only half hour, so it will be brief. And with our laser, we could single out signals from atoms that are standing still or at most moving sideways by saturation. But I like to, let's say, uh, give the example of HIV to show the young researcher how it's important to make multidisciplinary and translational research. The flavor of thinking about your chemical object as something which can adapt makes you change your point of view and maybe think differently. Science doesn't end. Discoveries lead to progress, but always, I think, to incomplete stories. It was great meeting so many students from so many countries. Just hearing their stories was incredibly inspiring, and I made professional connections I would never have made without coming to Lindau. Some of them made their own video diaries as well. Do I have an, a favorite? Oh, a favorite? Yes. Nobel laureate. Oh, yes. He's dead. Oh. <laughs> Linus Pullman. Without a doubt, the most cherishable aspect of my stay here would have to be the conversations that I will be taking back. It, it made me feel they are part of this big science community and it's not that they are different from us and being above us. Do I want to be a yeah, Nobel laureate someday? Oh, I wish. <laughs> if you'd like to meet young scientists from all over the world, hear lectures from laureates, and personally talk to Nobel Prize winners about your own research, you must apply now to come to Lindau next year. Here's how. Go to the Lindau website and check out the selection criteria. Science academies, foundations, and universities worldwide can nominate you. Lindau is much more than a meeting. It is an experience that will change how you look at science and inspire your career. I hope you get the chance to experience Lindau too.